A man who kept his daughter as a sex slave for 23 years has been released from prison, quote, despite fears that he may reoffend. All right, this is a, a story that will make you want to put your head through a brick wall. According to The Independent, Ronald Vanderplot was sentenced to 15 years in prison in 2001 for repeatedly hanging his daughter uh, up by her ankles and placing her head in a box with a padlock on it as he raped her. He was originally released in 2010, but was ordered back to jail in 2012 after being seen holding hands with a young girl at a museum. Wow. The 82-year-old began abusing his daughter from when she was just 9 years old until she was 32. He impregnated her at age 12. Oh my god. And there was a miscarriage. And uh, now he's moving back to his house, which is just 400 meters away from a school. Okay. Out comes Kyle's conservative side. This guy should be locked up forever. He should, be lo he should die in jail. That's what should happen. I, in fact, I can't fathom that he was ever let go. I mean, li li listen to this. He raped his, his fucking kid repeatedly, kept her as a sex slave for 23 years, was released in 2010, God knows why then, and then he was immediately caught holding hands with a little girl. And they're like, okay, now we gotta put you back in jail. And then they release him again today. Alright, look, man. <laughs> We've said it before, but some crimes deserve rehabilitation and rehabilitation only. Some crimes. Some crimes deserve a mix of rehabilitation and punishment. Some crimes deserve, in my opinion, nothing but punishment. When somebody is so far beyond help and so far beyond rehab, and they show no remorse, and there's signs they'll do it again, yada, yada, yada. In that case, just punishment. Now, I don't mean that in the fucking, you know, right-wing bullshit way, where they literally want to torture people and become the demon they're trying to avoid themselves. No, I'm talking about punishment in the way that makes sense. So, okay, we're, you're going to jail for life. That's it. That's it. Okay, we're going to put you in jail for life. You need to be kept away from society because you are a danger to society, as you've repeatedly proved. In this case, that's what I see. So, as much as I think, you know, New Zealand is probably a place where they get things right on other political issues way more than we do on this one my americanism comes out and i think keep this guy locked up forever now by the way that's not to say the u.s is right totally on criminal justice overall we're way too right wing and we're way too punitive and as a result of that our recidivism rate is much higher than in other nations but this is one case here where i wouldn't take a risk i'd keep this guy locked up forever and i think people who don't agree with that You've significantly outlived me, that's for sure.